Hey guys, it's Keys. I'm still sick, but I can't do the movie trailer guy voice forever, so I'll be talking normally today. <clears throat> talking normally. <clears throat> well, I'll try. With the light activation and silent tactile bump, Topper Type Heaven keyboards bring the best of both worlds. It's CES day two, and there's too much news, which means a thub do ba beep boop Lightning round. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> NVIDIA has quietly launched the mobile version of its GTX 965 in two newly announced laptops. MSI's GE62 Apache 002, that's too many numbers, features the new 965M, while the Aorus X5 has two of them and SLI powering its 4K IGZO display. NVIDIA apparently gave IGN, of all people, some preliminary specs, and it looks like it might be running a stripped-down GM204 GPU, the same one found in the 980, instead of the rumored lower-power GM206. All signs point to the desktop GTX 960 launching later this month, so keep your eyes peeled for that as well. There's a new display connector in town, and it can output 8K at 120 hertz. Well, it's not totally new. It's the old MHL standard designed for mobile devices, but now it's called Super MHL, has a new reversible connector, and is designed for future 8K TVs. Samsung has one such TV available, which they're showing off along with MHL, which looks like it'll be the go-to standard until DisplayPort, HDMI, and the others catch up. Intel has unveiled its Compute Stick, a full x86 Windows 8.1 PC in a form factor not much bigger than a USB stick for 150 bucks. It's got a quad-core Atom CPU, two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, Bluetooth 4.0, a full-size USB port and SD card slot, and an HDMI mail connector for the display. Mmm, bucket size. Speaking of pocket size, Intel has improved on its stamp-sized Edison project by revealing Curie, a processor, Bluetooth radio, and various sensors stuffed into a button-sized module. Intel missed the smartphone rise and looks like they want to make it up in wearable tech. Mercedes-Benz's self-driving car makes Google's look like a Fisher-Price toy. Oh no, he's there. I mean, it didn't really need any help with that. The F015 Luxury in Motion is a concept car that is basically a fancy room with swiveling chairs in a car. It's just a concept, but the fact that you can take over the controls is nice too. And screenshots have leaked of Microsoft's Spartan browser that's apparently coming with Windows 10. It looks like a browser, but it will apparently support voice commands, which would be cool. I don't know, what do you guys think? Anything's better than Internet Explorer. All right, that's enough, jeez. At the rate news is coming out, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Just kidding, I won't because I'm Batman. For your New Year's resolution this year, why not learn something new? More importantly, learn something useful. Sign up today for a 10-day free trial at lynda.com slash NCIX and get unlimited access to thousands of online courses. That's lynda.com slash NCIX. Be sure to use that URL so they know we sent you. It really helps us out, guys. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. All right, Jack, my tea and blanket. Thank you. What? He's taking care of me. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman.